Hello everyone, this is your boy Oscar 18 aka Giovanni Huerta and welcome to my first ever draft league analysis breakdown or whatever you want to call it. As a matter of fact, this is my first one I've ever done on the channel and even in part of a league that I'm recording and putting videos on. This is my very first one so hopefully I do this draft analysis breakdown correctly. I don't know. I've seen Goki Gamers, I've seen Midnight's and I'm just gonna kind of wing it because this is my first first time ever doing it I was gonna try to like kind of script it but at this point I just don't know what exactly I'm supposed to talk about so without further ado let's go on to like the actual what we drafted all right so before I continue on with like the Pokemon picks that I chose for this draft like let me give a real quick shout out to Midnight Wolf who made this amazing layout in the background I know it's a bit simple but I love simple and I just like it in general it just seems clean nice and clean with the logo of the PLCL which is the Phantoms Little Cup League if I had not already mentioned it in the beginning of this episode or this video so anyways um that's a shout out let's get on to the breakdown all right so in the drafting process I was literally number 10 and the 10 slot is always kind of not good but good at the same time bad because I'm basically dead last in picking a Pokemon which gives me very high chance of getting like sniped out of the Pokemon I want but luckily throughout this whole entire draft league I did not get sniped whatsoever but the pro is I get to choose two Pokemon back to back between round one round two and then so on and so on and so on that meaning I get a chance to pick chemistry along my way and it's a bit easier but that also makes it the way most hardest thing to do so without further ado let's get on to my draft picks so when it came to drafting my first ever pokemon i'm not gonna lie to you guys the first and second one were always like the only pokemon that i really had a plan for but uh, going past round two i really didn't have a clue or whatever i wanted to draft so let's start with my first ever pick and that was galarian corsola now the reason why I picked Galarian Corsola was not only because it's a ghost type and ghost is very strong in the Little Cup League, at least to my knowledge because I see a lot of ghost types here and I was looking through the list and I saw a lot of ghosts and honestly the reason why Galarian Corsola popped into my eye, at least as my first pick, was because not only was it very tanky when I took up the Phantom Michael in the Ghost Gym Leader Challenge, which I'm still not done with season one, by the way. <laughs> I still have to check down the gym leaders. Um, the reason why that season, I mean, that series has lagged a bit was because I was trying to catch up on some other videos. But anyways, I'm going back into why I chose Corsola. So the main reason was because I saw the performance going up against the Phantom Michael. And so I said, it's a very bulky mon, so why not pick it up? Now, the second reason why I picked Galarian Corsola is because I saw Goki use Corsola, which is its evolution, and I saw how tanky and basically the shenanigans they could pull off in the league, like the IBA or whichever league. I, I think it was in the IBA league he chose Corsola. But anyways, I just saw its potential and its evolution, and I said if the, he could pull off those type of stats, those type of like shenanigans in its evolution form, I wonder what it can do in its pre-evolution. So that's the reason why I chose Galarian Corsola. Now, leading on to my second pick being, as a matter of fact, being Scyther. Uh, the reason why I chose Scyther was because, honestly, I, need, I needed a sweeper or something very quick and attack and then just get out of the situation when I needed it to. And, like, using, like, U-Churn and... People who choose Scyther, they know basically Scyther is a Pokemon that everybody knows. So hopefully, anyways, I mean, I don't want to give a, get a, get rid of my strats or whatever. I might pull something new. I might not. I don't know. I'm gonna try to be creative in this league as much as possible because we are dealing with level five. So hopefully, I could pull out something interesting in this little cup league. But that's reason why I chose Scyther because it's speedy and has a high attack stat. So. I am hoping to use Scyther a lot in this uh, in this little kelp league. Now, going past round two, round three being 
a little bit confusing because I honestly had no clue what to choose. I I knew I had a big weak weakness in Scyther, and Crystal was not so much. Honestly, Crystal just had two basically weaknesses, being Ghost and Dark, and that's the reason why I chose Scyther because not because it's like immune to any of those, but I thought I might as well scoop up a Sweeper and a very defensive mod. Now. I saw a lot of weaknesses with Scyther, and I just didn't want to have Cor 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 I mean, Corsula. I didn't want to have Corsula, Galarian Corsula, to just back me up for Scyther. So I needed another Mon. And that's where Larvitar, and here's a funny story why I chose Larvitar in round 3. I'm telling you, I, I had no idea when it came to my final picks. I, I was just having memories and whatever when I used to be part of other draft leaks that I've never uploaded onto this channel because it happened like four years ago. But anyways, I I literally chose Larvitar because I was remembering a scene in the anime and I was like, oh, Larvitar, and I was just remembering where it goes. Larvit, Larvitar. I know that's weird. I don't, I don't cringe. I know, I cringe my own self. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch this video. I'm not just straight up cringe <laughs> just because I said that. But I just remembered a scene. I said, Larvitar, Rocking Ground, Tyranitar is like a very good Pokemon and I saw Larvitar. And for a little cup league, it has a really good attack and it has a decent okay-ish speed, not like Scyther or probably any other mon that I have. Actually, as a matter of fact, it is faster than, uh, oh, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty fast compared to the other Pokemon I have. Um, it's pretty, it's okay-ish, I guess. Not compared to Scyther. When you compare Scyther to <laughs> Larvitar, uh, <laughs> Scyther is a it makes Larvitar look like a joke. But anyways, the reason I chose um, Larvitar because of the rocking ground and I saw I did a little bit of coverage. It does have multiple weaknesses as a matter of fact, but still I thought Larvitar was a solid pick. It may not make my team bulky and threatening, but I am curious to what I could use Larvitar. I mean, I've never been a part of a draft league in a very long time. And this is a very, very great opportunity to try it out. So that was pretty much sums up my round three pick. Now leading on to round four. Now here's here, here's something stupid that I did not find out <laughs> until later on. Uh, during round four, I basically got a call from uh, Phantom Michael, who was basically named after this Phantom Little Cup League. I, I was gonna ask him questions basically about this league and the format it is because we were also questioning that through Discord and this was a level five basically we're, since the standard Little Cup Leagues are level five Pokemon. So I was asking him questions like, um, can I, I know it's kind of stupid, but I was gonna say like, can I use any moves that typically um, baby mods will learn at level 55? Like so let's say for example, um, Larvitar, right? If Larvitar uh, learns Hyper Beam on level 42, right? Like, could I use that? Technically, I can- Oh, actually, I can't even use it unless it's a TM. So, I could only use moves of baby Pokemons from levels 1 through 5, and the rest had to be taught through TMs, or their egg moves, or move tutors, and all that. So, at this point, I was like, holy crap. I did not see the movesets that Corsula had. I did not see the moveset that Scyther had and Larvitar. And I was just like, my final picks, I really had to be very decisive on the move pull because if I choose the wrong Mon, I may just be limited to certain Pokemons and easy to be predicted because of the limited move pull and everything. So, my fourth choice was Skrelp. Not only because Scrap now just got into the DLC and my boy Dragalge, which I am the, still the Dragon Gym Leader and I'm so happy that Dragalge is into this game because now I have a chance to go up against Fairy Type Gym Leaders because you know what? Dragalge is going to put in that work with especially with its hidden ability, adaptability, which honestly who runs a Dragalge without adaptability? That'd be pointless because adaptability is so OP. And hopefully I can show it in this draft league. So that's why I chose Scrub because it reminded me of how powerful Dragalge can actually be. And Scrub, who is the poison and water type, I felt like it could do a little good for me. And also it backs up my other weaknesses like Larvitar's weaknesses and Scyther's weaknesses a bit. And it's move pull is all right. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Uh, it's not the best in the world, but it's pretty solid for what it can offer. And on top of that, its stats are pretty okay-ish. They're not the best, but they're okay. 
So that's why I chose Scrub because it was a good water and poison. It's kind of like a tentacle, but uh, let's see how it performs in this Little Cup League. So I've never used in a Scrub before in my life. I've never been a part of a Little Cup League. So with that being said, let's go to pick number five. So the fifth Pokemon I chose was honestly just random. I was just remembering. Okay, what are the Pokemon typings that I have already? So I was like, okay, I have Ghost, I have Bug and Flying, I have um, Larva type being a Rock and Ground. Now I have Scrub being a Water and Poison. Let's add some spiciness. And I was like, you know what? Let's add a Psychic type Pokemon. Let's add up Hatena. I think that's how you pronounce it, which was my fifth Pokemon that I scooped up. Hatena, I honestly, throughout the cage lock, um, and honestly, every single time I played the Pokemon Sword and Shield, Hatena, for whatever reason, destroyed my team, it wrecked it, it did a big damage to me, and I was just like, you know what? Let me pick up this Pokemon. And looking at its stats, um, it's kind of okay-ish, I, I guess? It's not the best attacking Pokemon physically, but I don't know. I mean, hopefully I can use Hatena in a way that basically could pick up a couple of kills in this in this league. Um, I'm not sure what else it can do. In terms of abilities, it's pretty solid. In terms of moveset pulls, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty interesting in its move pulls and everything and egg moves and tutor moves tr moves and all that and i was just like maybe i could pull something interesting and in with hat tana when the, whenever the opportunity rises and i could use it in a natural team so there's not much to it for hat tana um aside from memory so why i chose it but that was basically my fifth pokemon i scooped up now going for my sixth one now honestly um <laughs> I saw that no one chose Bulbasaur, and that was my sixth Pokemon I scooped up. Yes, I already have a Poison type Pokemon, but, 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 I had to choose my mascot. I had to bring my mascot. I had to bring my boy into this little cub lake. I had to use him, and that's why I chose Bulbasaur. I mean, Bulbasaur, uh, honestly, I've had experiences with a Bulbasaur in the Soul Link Versus and all that. And honestly, even though Bulbasaur is really pretty much tanky and offensive at the same time it does have a tendency to lack in move pulls now i i knew that when i chose it i knew it was limited with the moves that it would be given in terms of tms and everything that it gets it's very very limited um will i ever use it in the in this little little cup league i have no clue because i see a lot of disadvantages as a matter of fact, I'm seeing this move pull right now as you as I speak. It's not the best move set, and I just gotta work with what I got. So I chose it. Hopefully, I could use it for a very good reason because its move pull is so limited. I don't know why I chose it, but mainly it was because it was my mascot, and I just wanted to bring in Bulbasaur. I didn't care if it was not the best Pokemon, but I chose him anyways. So that's pretty much my round six pick, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We are more than halfway done with all my 10 picks of this draft league. So let's go with number seven. So at this point in the draft league, I uh, uh, in this picking or whatever, I knew at this point I was like, I need a fire type because honestly the reason why I built this team was to counteract Goki's team because I really I've never fought Goki in a draft league ever and this is my first opportunity to kick his <laughs> so I don't know if I had to bleep that but whatever so I had to kick his butt <laughs> I have to kick his butt so I try to pick a team that could be very versatile against his but I, like I said again I really had no clue what Pokemon I was choosing towards the ending half so this is where I chose Helioptile because I think that at that point that was the only electric Pokemon that I saw was available and I know there was probably other better choices but I don't know why I chose Helioptile I just saw it as an interesting Pokemon electric and normal and again I saw a lot of ghost type Pokemon in the little cup league uh, in terms of baby mons so I thought a normal type Pokemon would really be like kind of like being taken advantage or like I have like the edge on that game uh, and that's why I chose Helioptile, aside from like its abilities and move pools and everything, its stats kind of like suck as well. It's kind of like a Scyther, but like cut in half. It's not the best sweeping Pokemon out there, but it's it's alright. In terms of move pool, it's not the best. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 
Um, the move pool is uh, like, see, this is what this is what a noob does. Just picks Pokemon because it looks interesting. And when I looked at the move set, it was like, uh, it's really cringe to see. Like, it has a really a lot of potential. I'm not gonna lie, it does have a lot of potential when it comes to moves. But I'm I'm wondering how it's gonna perform in this little cup league. So hopefully I, I bring Helioptile for one of the matches out of the ten matches I'm gonna have to do. Hopefully I could bring on one of them. So that there's not really much to say why I chose it. I just needed an electric type, so I saw Helioptile. That's as simple as that. So that's pretty much my round I think seven. Yeah, my round seven. Now we're actually on the final edge with the last three Pokemons. So number eight, round eight. At this point, I just, I have no clue why I chose this Pokemon. I chose Ponyard, a Dark and Steel type. Goki was like at me too. It was like, yo, you call this Pokemon suck butt cheeks? Or like during uh, the Solen Versus, why you chose it? <laughs> I have no clue. I mean, the reason I guess I chose it was because I saw its defenses and it does resist a lot of typings. In terms of like its stats, it's all right defensively. Um, de special defensively, not so much. And in terms of move pulls, it has okay move sets, I guess. I'm telling you again, I have no clue what I was going, what was going through my mind when I was choosing this Pokemon. I just hope I can pull something off, because. If I can, then I'm a little bit of in trouble. So hopefully I can pick something out of my butt when it comes to these Pokemon. So Ponyar was my eighth choice because I just thought he was cool. <laughs> so my ninth pick that I chose was Ponyta. I needed a fire type. Now I was debating back in round three whether I should have had uh, picked up Darumaka when it was still available. I think it was round two or whichever. Um, I was well, well, I saw Darumaka available at some point. I was like, should I scoop Darumaka? I need a good fire type. But then I saw Ponyta and I looked at its stats and it's not really a bad Pokemon, honestly. In terms of movesets, I mean, in terms of abilities, it might do a little bit better on. But in terms of stats and all around, Ponyta is not really a bad Pokemon. Like, you can make it work. Like, it has interesting movesets. In terms of level up, it sucks butt. But when it comes to like TMs and TRs and all that and movesets and things you could teach it, it's pretty interesting Pokemon. It's a pretty interesting Pokemon, the potential that this Pokemon has. So I'm very interested in what I can use Ponyta to my advantage. So this is a Pokemon I'm looking forward to using. Um, that does not mean I'm going to be using it for every team I, I go up against or every coach I go up against. Because if I say that, they might prepare for Ponyta. So, uh, hey, there's that. So there's not much to say about Ponyta. I just thought... I need a fire type and Ponyta fits the bill. Now let's go to number 10, my 10th pick on this draft league process and everything. Um, the 10th Pokemon decided to scoop up was the Galarian Yaw Mask. Now I'm surprised no one scooped this up, I guess because it, it lacked potential. I mean, I could see it. I could see it. It's not, it's really just a Pokemon, doesn't really have attacks. It, it's a base attack, it's 55 and a special attack is 30. Um, why did I choose it? Because of bulk. Honestly, this is the reason. I, I already had a bulky in Corsula. I thought if I didn't bring Corsula one round, I could have it replaced with Galarian Mask. In terms of moveset also, I was very paying attention. Like my last two picks, I had to pay attention to its move pulls because I wanted to be as versatile and try to be sneaky at the same time. Because when you see Galarian Yaw Mask, it has an interesting move pull. Um, let's see. Actually, it does have a very interesting move pull. But when we come to TRs, Holy crap, it has potential. And as a Yaw Mask, and as a Yaw Mask, it has high potential, move to the moves and all that. You know what? I'm very intrigued in using Galarian Yaw Mask at some point throughout this league. And hopefully that brings me good luck. So those are my 10 top Pokemon. I really do, I could really see a lot of weaknesses in my team already. I don't know if it's the strongest team in the whole entire like league. I don't think so, but I think I could make it work, honestly. Um, I do see people thinking that Scyther is the biggest threat because it is the strongest Pokemon I have on the squad with a base 110 attack. But aside from that, it's, it's an all right Pokemon, honestly. I do see a lot of weaknesses and hopefully I could do my best to cover those weaknesses with other Pokemon that I've already drafted and 
that's my team guys so that's basically my breakdown this is my first ever breakdown let me know what you guys think in the comment section below was it all right this is my first one i know the next time i'm a part of a league i will do this way much better because i have the experience and i actually have pokemon knowledge so if you guys enjoyed this episode or this draft league breakdown drop them a like consider subscribing because i'm gonna be once the league starts up i'm gonna be doing wi-fi battles after wi-fi battles i am so intrigued going up going up against goki gamer the phantom michael so with that being said look forward to that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace